Hey, this is Peter again, and we'll continue today uh, with organizing our content in a long document, and we'll see how we can make it a bit simpler. So we have a couple of um, interesting sections here in this document. So we have nutrition, physical activity, hydration, everything related to a healthier lifestyle, and a lot of information, lists, and it's quite long. We need to scroll a lot. So today we will simplify this view. And the feature that we are going to use today uh, is page or sub pages. So if I scroll up and start with the nutrition section, I click on this block, which is currently in a heading style. So since it is highlighted, I will just go and scroll down till the end of the nutrition section, which I know where it is. It's right before the physical activity and I will highlight all of the blocks. And I will use my favorite shortcut, comment plus G, and this creates this sub page. And this what essentially it do, does is group all the blocks into a different block. And here I also want to add actually something because I have a quite a few sweet potato recipes. So I will create a card actually, which is essentially also a sub page, it's just visually different. And I will use the forward slash shortcut type card. There are multiple different ways how we can do this, um, but let me use today this one. And I will go ahead and add a background image for this card, which will be about sweet potato to make sure um, I'm aware of that food type. And another way to structure your content, you can simply go ahead and again, highlight uh, everything you want to add there and just cut all the highlighted blocks and simply go into the card and paste the, the blocks. And I will also name this sub page as sweet potato. So again, sub pages and cards are essentially the same. And this, uh, looks much better about nutrition, but I have a few other sections that I, where I want to do the same. So what I can do is again, go with, uh, go to the physical activity and I'm just looking for the last part, highlighting all the relevant uh, information, common G again, physical activity done, same with hydration. All right, comma G. I have another page. Now this is getting better and better. Sleep is also very important. So that will be another section in our document, just as mental well-being. And of course, everyone's favorite routine checkups. Uh, we need to do that, right? So here you go. <laughs> you see now it was uh, a couple of minutes ago, a long document with a lot of text. Now when I'm opening my healthier lifestyle project, I see basically six, six different uh, sub pages and it's very convenient for me to get in and decide, okay, today I want to focus on physical activity related uh, knowledge capturing and reading. So I will go into that sub page. So this is a really cool feature that you can use to structure your content better within a document. It's very helpful when you want to maybe share a page with someone and uh, it's just easier to have a quick overview of what type of content you have in a document. And within each sub page, you can create multiple sub pages. So I hope you will have a lot of fun with your content. And uh, let's see uh, in the next video how we can turn sub pages into separate documents.